glowy 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 good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are hearing from today it's a beautiful tuesday morning and i bring to you good news from rhapsody of realities rhapsody of realities is written by pastor chris oyaki lomi dsc dsc dt my name is balani olikoide i am your host on this channel where we read Rhapsody aloud. Praise God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you. Give you praise for the opportunity to study your word as contained in Rhapsody of Realities. Thank you, God, because every of my hearers, as they hear, they move forward, they make progress and produce the result that the word of God talks about. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Pastor is sharing with us today, Tuesday, 17th of September, the Lalia of Christ. Hallelujah. John chapter 8, verse 43 says, Why do ye not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my word. Two words used in our opening verse may seem synonymous but they have striking differences. They are speech. The speech, the Greek word for speech is lalia. And word, the Greek for word is logos. Logos is a general term for word. The Bible says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. That was in John, that was in John chapter 1, verse 1. Logos encompasses speech, idea, thoughts, and message. It is a substance of a message. John chapter 1, verse 14 tells us that the word or the logos of God became flesh. And that's Jesus Christ, hallelujah. All of God's thoughts, ideas, and opinions are encapsulated in Him. That means in Jesus, praise God. Lalia, on the other hand, describes a mode of speech. It's the way you say what you say, okay? This can be by gesticulations semiological communication, dialects, or pronunciations. Jesus said to the Pharisees and the Jews as they questioned his words, why do you not understand my speech? The way I say what I say. That's what the word of God is saying here. Even because you cannot hear the logos, the word of God. They didn't understand his communication because they couldn't comprehend his message. His communication is a lalia, speech. The message is a logos, which is the word. Praise God, hallelujah. An example is found in John chapter 11 verse 11 to 14, when he said to his disciples, Our friend Lazarus sleepeth, but I go that I may awake him out of sleep. Then said his disciples, Lord, if he sleep, he shall do well. Albeit Jesus speak of his death, but the thought that he has spoken of taking of rest in sleep. Then he, he said Jesus unto them plainly, Lazarus is dead. I mean, they did not understand his lalia. He has to say it plainly that he's dead. So this is what Pastor is saying. But they cannot understand his communication if you don't understand the message itself. Praise God. A similar thing happened when Jesus went to the house of Jairus, whose little daughter had just died. The Bible says, And all wept 
and bewailed her. But he said, Weep not, she is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn, knowing that she was dead. That was in Luke chapter 8, 52 to 53. I mean, what are you saying? This girl is dead. But they didn't understand where it's coming from. The people don't understand his lalia because they couldn't comprehend his message. If only they knew that his message stated who he was, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. This is the Lord's mindset. His mindset showed in his communication, his speech. You know, they didn't understand what he was talking about. Praise God. As a child of God, it's important for you to give attention to the ministry of the Word and the Holy Spirit in the house of God. That's how you are cultured, trained, and taught the message of Christ. That message gives you a language. It's called the Lalia of Christ. Yes. There's a way we talk in our kingdom. You know, we are not being religious. Some people, maybe they are not feeling sick. I mean, they are not feeling well. They are feeling sick. They said, when well, were you not in church? Or what? They said, I was strong. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. In, in that one, you, you are not communicating the message. You are not communicating because if you are not, if you are strong like you claimed, you will have been where you are supposed to be. So, the fact that you were not where you are supposed to be or you did not do what you are supposed to do contradicts the message you just passed. But, okay, what will I say? The mindset, first of all, is that the life of God is in me, so I do not get sick. So you are not going to even think that it was sickness. It won't bring, your, your communication will not, your communication will not, first of all, be that I am sick. You will say, oh, I needed to rest. Oh, I was not feeling too well. Do you get? That is because there's a way you are thinking. I'm not the sick. I'm not the sick. So all these things, you get the training and the culturing from the word of God. The word of God will let you know what to say, how to say it. No wonder the Bible says, God told Joshua in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, said, this book of the Lord, said, it must not depart out of your mouth. You will meditate on it. You know, when you meditate on the word of God, it gives you a mindset. It gives you a language. There's a way you talk. When other people are talking any way, anyhow, you talk in another way, you know. When men are cast down, Bible says, you shall say, there's a, there's a culture in there. Because there's already a cast down. There's a cast down. When men are cast down, when, I think that's Job 22 verse 29. When men are cast down, so what is your response? You will say, there's a lifting up. So he had given you a kind of communication, how you must say, and you must see it that way. Praise God. All of this is done when you study God's word. You just know what to say. And you know when to say. And how exactly how to say what to say. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, it's very important to know this. And if you have not been born again, you need to get born again because it is important to say, to communicate rightly. It is important to declare, you know, victory in situations of life. But if you have not been born again, you will not even be trained or cultured by the word of God. 
So I invite you today to get born again. All you need to say is first of all to believe in your heart, the Lordship of Jesus, what he did on the cross, everything is death, is burial, and resurrection is sufficient for you. Praise God. And you now proclaim with your mouth the Lordship of Jesus. So right here, right now, once you are ready, you can say after me, Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes, that is who you are now, a child of God. And I have a gift for you. It's a small book though, but very important. It's written by Pastor Chris Oyakilome. Now that you are born again, the detail is already scrolling on your screen. Download it right away and start reading it. You start learning this new life that you just received in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah, praise God. Congratulations. And you are welcome to the family of God. Let's pray. take today's prayer together. Say, Dear Father, thank you for your word that cultures my spirit as I grow in the kingdom culture of faith. It gives me a language that clearly communicates your truth and also forms in me a mindset of victory. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, praise God, hallelujah, glory be to God. Thank you so much for being a part of today's episode of Rhapsody of Realities, praise God. I'll come your way again tomorrow. I'm remind, using this opportunity to remind you of the Reach Out World Day coming up on 2nd of December. Be a part of it. Yes, I want you to be a part of it. Be a workforce. You can sponsor a copy, just 600 naira of Rhapsody of Realities. You can sign up to be a distributor on that day. Yes. Thank you so much. Remember, you need to communicate well by studying God's word. See you tomorrow. God bless you.